righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all and upon all those who believe. Dr. Ruth Schwartzfeger, who's a little Irish woman, a professor of German, translated quite a number of bits of poetry written by Jewish women during the Holocaust. And uh, because of this, she became the darling of the Holocaust survivors. And so they would fly her to speak at fundraisers for these Holocaust memorials and so on. And she would warn them beforehand and say, now listen, I'm a Christian and a rather outspoken one at that. Well, they say, we, we still want you to come. And so she would come and she would read this poetry. Well, on this particular occasion, she was in New York City for a fundraiser for the Holocaust Memorial in Washington, D.C. And when she finished, someone asked from the floor, why do you care about the Jews? And she said, I'm not sure you want to hear the answer. Yes, I do. Well, here we go. And she gave them her testimony and told how the most wonderful person in her life was a Jew who had died to save her from her sins. And ever since then, she had always appreciated the Jewish people. There was a strange silence in the auditorium. She went and took her place at the head table beside the chief rabbi. And the rabbi leaned over to her and began to speak, and then the conversation began at all the tables. He said to her, Dr. Schwartzfeger, our Talmud says that as long as there are righteous Gentiles in the world, they will help to protect the Jews. Well, she said, that's very interesting. I wonder if I could ask you a question, Rabbi. What does the Talmud say is the basis of those Gentile righteousness? There was a long silence, and finally he said, I'm afraid I can't answer that. She said, may I answer it for you? It is the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ, unto all, and upon all them the glory. People say that Christianity is biased and bigoted. You say, well, are you telling me that all these Muslims and Jews and Hindus and everybody, they're all going to go to hell and you're the only right one? That's kind of a, a bigoted tunnel vision view of life, isn't it? They don't, well, wait a minute now. The Christian message is this. God loved the world. And Christ died for all. And whosoever will may come. Doesn't sound very narrow-minded to me. That's as big as the whole world. It's available to every sinner. And this is the light that lightens every man that comes into the world. And the Spirit of God has gone out into the world to convince the world of sin and righteousness and judgment. It doesn't sound like a very bigoted, biased, narrow-minded view at all. It's a view that's as big as the heart of God and as big as the need of man.